Here comes the screams. Man, the first time I entered this place... It's just so disturbing. I mean, it still is, but the first time it was a lot stronger. You can put a horse on the stand, but you can't make it testify. 7,000 dead, more or less. So we've done this conversation before. There we go. Yep, convinced a guy to open it up. Let's go find Tai Cheek. Uh, it's on this level. feet ache. Have we met before? No, we haven't. They won't let anyone in to see me. Tell them to let guests in, or I'll get angry again like I did yesterday. Is that why your feet ache? Were you stomping around a lot? <laughs> so what kind of human are you? Why did you come? Tell me, kid, did you ever leave this room? Do you know what's happening outside? No, they won't let me out. Even though I'm... I'm superior and they must listen. But no one does. Not enough toys here. Very boring. Is the outside more interesting? Just don't be scared when you walk out of this room. Don't look around and think happy thoughts. Where will we go? Shehen, yes? Tell me it's Shehen. Behara, what a great idea. Why go to Shehen? It's deserted. It's spacious. We'll all find a place there. We don't need too much space. I'll take you in. And the rest of us, too? No, you alone. Hello? What, what do you mean? I don't understand the word. Uh, well, uh, can you count? How many fingers am I showing to you now? Ten. No, there's one. No, there's ten. You've got ten fingers on your hands. That's not how it works. Yes, it does. It's the same. How can you separate me from Hatonge? Nunehen Zyla? You don't cut fingers from a hand. Stupid idea. Helloning someone. You may best she will only leave together. Then we'll live together. Here we won't live. It'll be great. Yamargo Ebe. What a stubborn kid. Fine. I'll figure something out. So where does that go now? Neither the kin nor Taya agree to her being separated from the people. The only way to save her from that dead place is together with them. Ah, now I can go speak with Oyum, who was thankfully relocated somewhere much closer. I remember in the dream I could speak with all these people. Now none of them. How phrase your kind, Hatonger? Did you hear what Mother told you? I'm Isidore Barra's son. I want to find out his fate. Tell me what you know. What kind of person are you? Why would we talk to you? Why would we care what you want? We only care what the kin want. I hope the kin want to leave this rotten place. I've made it possible. You're free to go. No, we can't leave yet. The doors are open. What's holding you here? The one who oppresses us. The one who locked us in. The master. The owner. Fat Bose Vlad. He 
He's only your master as long as you consent to be his people. He locked us in. His order destroyed our people. He turned the warren into a coffin. Timel Da, it is so. Uh, so what, are you planning to stay in this coffin out of sheer stubbornness? We want justice. All must be fair. All must follow the lines. He who has done this to us must come and observe the consequences of his actions. We will not leave until this is done. And what do you plan to do? Kill him? We want to look him in the eye. Touch his eyes with ours. I'll bring you the person responsible. You want to take our mother? You cannot have her. We won't let you. She won't let you. Fine, fine, don't worry. I'm not a stranger. You are a stranger until proven otherwise. You are not part of us. I am part of you. Show us that you're on our side. Show us that your knife can trace the lines. Bring us Big Flad. What do you... you... I remember that happened last time. People were running. Maybe just like a scripted event? But I also wonder if there's something specific happening? I don't think so. amount of time I have left. It is way less than I thought it would be. Holy shit. I think I can knock a lot of these out pretty quickly, though. And some of these I probably don't have to do today, although I want to. Let's go to my place. Oh, Yoon. She is a herald of the law. Now. We come to the time when deities begin to die. Have you been there? Yes. What did you see? There are survivors. They worship Tai Chi's young daughter. Worship? She's like a lucky charm to them, a shield from the plague. So there are survivors. How many? I don't know, by the screams, a hundred, maybe two. They need to leave that place. I've already asked the woman from the capital to unlock the gate. So, uh, she has the power now, but she refused me, and so will she refuse you. She didn't refuse me. How is that possible? You have no such power. You have no such authority. Do you? I do. My power comes from the Olgimskis, and from Earth. But those are only scraps. The kin can be ruled by either force or spirit. Your father did the latter. I do the former. Bose Vlad's strength is behind me. They want to see him, by the way, Olgimski. That's their right. If I were in Olgimski's place, I'd come. How else will they remember who their master is? If he acts as a master would, with no fear, with no doubt in his power, then they will submit to him again, as animals do. You think this will be the end of it? Who knows? Whatever happens, Master will get what he deserves. If he's strong enough, he'll restore his power. If not, well, he'll lose it forever. This is his trial. I'll remember your words, Kindred. You will have to prove your strength to the kin. Prove that not only do you know the lines, Kindred, but that you can also trace them with your knife. Prove you are Yargachin like your father, too. They won't listen to you until you do, and they won't accept your help. You are still no one. I don't want to follow the path of strength. Father didn't. Because I was there to help him. 
because the Golgimskis forced them into submission, and I, their watchdog, sacrificed my name to drag them by the yoke wherever they'd be fed. Our people only understand strength, strength alone. They don't think, they don't fear death. They need to be dragged from its door by the yoke. No, Hatonger, I'm not convinced. There's an untruth, a false line, if you will. Oyun is a shepherd of bulls. He's convinced the kin can only be dragged to salvation by force. How far along can I progress the whole termitary quest today? Hmm. Well, I'm going to ignore the town is calling me because I don't have much time and other stuff is more important. Seeing Ruben is very important. Anna Angel, I guess, is very important just for this, just for the fact that I'm really curious where Anna Angel's story goes. Hmm. Anna wants a spindle, doesn't she? Doesn't she need a spindle to like trade for her burden? Oh, what are you doing here? Oyun's reflection. Nine years ago, my master woefully took the job of foreman to the abattoir. Olgimski sought a kinsman he could trust to force his will upon the kin, to quell rebellion against the bitter yoke of toil. I believe the kin despises him. The kin will follow strength as rule of law. Oyun is not a fool. He knew enough to see. One does not rule by giving orders. No man can rule the kin. Taichi Kursaba aside, only Elder Bura came close. Why would the kin need a ruler at all? The kin are a hive. The kin can only listen, like a realm of infants. Follow no laws, but feel keenly. What do they feel, Bura? Hell if I know. Oyun does know his place. No king of shreds and patches, but the king's silent shadow. He dreams of one to take his place, a man to lead the kin upriver towards the long-forgotten past. But strong he is. What is strength, Reflection? Do you believe yourself strong, Bura? Tell me what the strength is born from. Strength is the power to say no. The kin are slaves, gristle for the mill that Olgimski built to drown the town in coin. This road leads to no future but our end. Same fate awaits us all. Let's speak with Anna. It's throw yourself in the river, brick yourself in the basement, or get sandboxed. Why are you looking at me like that? Listen, Bura, I'm in trouble. I was cursed yesterday. Surprised it only happened yesterday. This is the doing of your step butchers, your rippers. You're a ripper, so you must know how to undo it. Undo what? There's a man around town who can divine the future by reading entrails. A step, her respects. He dissects the dead, or dying, and tells the future. They say he's always right. Got a ton of clients, and, well, here we are. Wait a minute. Man around town who can divine the future by reading entrails. A her step her respects. Hmm. That explains... I, I think that explains what that person who said they were dying... Uh, th I think that explains why they did it. I remember a, a while ago, there was that really sick person at Saba's place. And they were dying and they said they gave their entrails or stomach or their insides or something. And they were wondering if they did the right thing. This is this must be what they did it for. To divine the future. Here we are, here where. So I called upon his services. There was this thing that I really very much needed to know. And now I've got this heart. I've tried to throw it away. Drown it in the gullet and the guzzle. Bury it. But it always comes back. I keep finding it in my bag or in my bed or in my pocket. I just thrust my hand there and, and... Hmm. 
What did you want to know? Whether I'll survive? Well, I can tell you that for free. Outlook not so good. I am good, Burrah. I had no idea he'd kill someone. Please, I'm basically on my knees here. Okay. It can be traded. Yes, close your eyes. What do you see? A spindle. Okay. I need a spindle. I don't have one. Alright, let's go speak with Reuben. God, I hope Reuben doesn't die this time. Is this spell? Oh, Jesus. The fact that he talked, I thought, are you awake? <laughs> He's not dead, only sleeping. For now. How are you, friend? Completely exhausted, huh? I wonder what you've gotten yourself into, pal. Who did you dissect? You're so secretive as though it was Simon's body. <laughs> now that would be a whole heap of trouble. All I know is that you couldn't have done anything low or selfish. I guess you tried to make a cure too, a vaccine or a serum. But why did you have to do it alone? Even I can't do everything on my own, and you... Remember that time at the Scruff when we had that fight? You said you're bound to this land, that you'd been born here and will die here. That you didn't want me to leave. That's when it all went downhill between us, wasn't it? See how it turned out? I'm back, but you seem to be leaving. Father was the only thing that kept you anchored, wasn't he? You were loyal to the land because of him. Now you're all alone, so you're running to death's embrace. Anywhere, away from here. You could... stay. Father's gone, but perhaps someone could take his place in your heart. Maybe you could marry Laura. Become a father yourself. Things would turn around. Ruben, you better not end up dead tomorrow. Can't help him with that. Being dead tired, he'll either make it on his own or not. Man, does that make me uncomfortable. Leaving them in the exact same situation that I left them in last time where they died. I mean, what's the only other difference? I've just made a lot more progress. On the panacea, a lot more. But is that enough? What the hell is this? Oh, here's the front door. No, what? <laughs> here's the front door. It's gonna give an immunity booster to Andre Stamaton again, because I reloaded my save from before I did that. And I think that's the last person that needs any treatment, right? Check, 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 check. Yep. Let's go speak with Big Vlad about going to the dormitory. What? Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot they're just not here for some reason. Oh, Jesus Christ. What has that blockhead found in the well? I guess they are here. Okay. Creepy the way they're hanging out there. So you turn around and see him. That's all right. That's all right. We'll take it all back. Our feet are firmly planted. Even if it all comes crumbling down, even if every single one of them dies, we will rebuild it. Do you know what's going on in the termitary, Bose? I can guess, my boy. I can guess. If everything there was all right, you wouldn't barge in here with your eyes so wide. How many? How many what? The victims. Better ask me how many survivors. Not a lot. To make the factory work again, at a third of its power at least, to cover the most urgent deliveries. Are there a thousand left at least? Go and count yourself. Those are your people, Bose. I have special people on payroll who do just that, but they have no way of getting inside or 
Maybe you can guide them in, since you've apparently found a hole. They're waiting for you, Bows. And they're seeking my blood? I'll go, but not right now. L later, when things calm down. Go back to your business, my boy. Thanks for the news, but it's nothing new, so go. Go to them, Boos. Now. They want to look you in the eye. Are you out of your mind, my boy? I'm not going anywhere now, and I would advise you to follow my example. They just want to look you in the eye. You are a gullible kid, Master Burah. You have the heart of a dove. If you value your life so little, go to them yourself. Your legs are still young. But spare me your ridiculous ideas. I'm a sane man. I warned you. If things turn bad, it'll be your fault. Who do you take me for? You dare bully me? You dare push me? I'll rip all your throats out and I won't even break a sweat. You pathetic weeds, you mindless calves. <laughs> I think the last time I spoke with young Vlad first, didn't I? And then I think I was able to convince Big Vlad to go because I told them that young Vlad was going to go and Big Vlad just wouldn't have that. They wanted, they, they didn't want their son to risk themselves. Better you go to them now than they come to you later. Let them look you in the eye. That's how they say it. What did that do for the quest? Hmm. I'm a little bit worried. I can still speak with young Vlad, but I'm a little bit worried that going to big Vlad first messes up the quest. I don't know. I'll go to young Vlad and we'll see what happens. Okay, young Vlad. Bloods and blood. That's the foundation beneath our feet. Now is not a good time. I'm headed out. Why? Have you heard what happened with the termitary? I have. I ordered the termitary shut, Burah. Not my father. Me. Just before you arrived. Father covered for me later. So before I just yelled at young Vlad, which is fair, but this time let's try not. Why did he do it? We have a complicated relationship. Haven't I told you already? Father believes that his will, uh, that, wait, father believes that his, what? Father believes that his will, the only thing that matters? I think that's supposed to say father believes that his will is the only thing that matters, that all decisions are his own. To his credit, this includes his unpopular decisions too. You said the termitary was locked because of a riot. Was that a lie? There was a riot there, or so I was told. Now I understand what scared them, but back then I wasn't thinking about that at all. What were you thinking about? Back then, I thought Father's wrath was the worst possible threat they could face. I was wrong, but no one could have known about this plague. I was wrong, but now I'll make it right. I'll go to them. Why go there? You can't fix anything. Why go there? Why go there? Why go there? Because I can't not go, Burah. Because this is my doing. Because I must see this place and look them in the eye. Don't go. You can't fix this. And they tell me to get out. Mm, yeah, I don't think that ends up the way I like. He deems himself responsible for what happened to the kin and will go to them voluntarily. Is this the outcome I want? No. Ah, but now I can go back to the older Vlad. Okay, good, 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 good. Back again, Burah? <laughs> like a shuttle in a weaver's loom. Your son is going to the termitary. 
What for? To confess, he was the one who locked up the termitary. You didn't even know, did you? The whelp, the idiotic whelp. I didn't know. I didn't know. So you did? That whelp is too cocky thinking he's responsible for anything. Too eager to take my place. No, it's a bit too early for him to get in my way. I am the master. This is my business. I will bear the consequences. Good. So what's your plan? I'm sending people to seize that whelp and get him over here. Let him wallow in his conscience here. Guilty. <laughs> Responsible my ass. Don't you think you should go there instead? Oh, I will. I've no plan to tremble at the sight of them. They will cower with their tails between their legs. I am the power. I am the authority. And they know it. So do I. I saw them. Else I wouldn't be here. Pig Flag considers himself responsible for everything. Seems he loves his son more than he shows. He will replace young Vlad before the kin. Good. How are we doing? A little bit less than an hour until midnight. Everybody's treated. I don't think I have to do the Anna Angel thing today. I hope not. Because I don't really know where to find a spindle. I mean, I've been looking in trash cans and whatnot. Oh, hold on. I can go to the termitary right now, can't I? Like, I don't have to wait till tomorrow or anything. Ooh. Let's go. I'm really cutting it close with this termitary thing. I got 20 minutes, but I think I'll make it. That might be a bad dude, but I don't care if it is. Yeah, whatever, dude. Get out of my way. No. I just want to get this done as early as possible. In case it makes a difference. Wonderful person you are. Happy now. I didn't expect you'd actually come. There wasn't enough. I sent people to seize him and drag him to my place, but he was long gone. So I came here to rescue the boy, but he wasn't here either. So you risked everything for your son. Help me get out of here, will you? That's not how it works. You must be held accountable for your crimes. You brought him. Good. Now you will become responsible for us. Fat Vlad was a bad master. You'll be better. You'll care for us with your life. Listen to Bodo's will. Listen to Suok's chant. Do what we will. Fine. I will become your father. I will take care of my people. I promise. Behara, these are the right words. You truly do know the lines, I'm Shen. I kept my word. I brought you Olgimsky. Now let the girl go. Didn't we tell you she can't be cut away from us? Do you fear for her? We'll take her with us to Shehan as soon as we can. Neither the town nor the sand pest can touch us there. Why are you still here, then? I'll speak to the Inquisitor on your behalf. I'll let her know you're only going to Shehen, not further. A schism grew among us. Because of you, M. Shen. We can't go anywhere split. We are a single body. We cannot leave a limb behind. It will not let us grow into a new life. Remember what Mother told you about fingers. A schism, really? Some of us reject your authority. They hate you. They blame you, your father, for everything. They'll never accept you. We can't leave this place torn asunder. Kill them so that we may be whole again. I 
I'm not killing anyone. Imagine an arm torn from a body, hanging by loose skin, unattachable. One can't cut his own arm off either. Too painful, lacking will. So a Yargashin is needed to cut it. It will hurt, yes. It will be terrible. But someone has to do it. You know the lines, so trace them. I know many lines. A wise man follows his own, not the shortest. Do as you will, we don't care. We can't leave this place split. We can't start a new life torn apart. So where are the crazed ones? We will lock ourselves in our rooms now, preparing. The disloyal ones will keep wandering about, skulking in the shadows with their plots. We'll open the doors again when the schism is no more, and then we'll go to Shehan. I see. Okay, let me get out of this place so I stop hearing the screaming. The kin will listen to me now, but they can't move forward torn apart as they are. I need to heal their wounds. Big Vlad is in the kin's hands now. He wasn't responsible for it happened, but he accepted the punishment nonetheless. Some things aren't bound to happen. Oh, that's probably young Vlad going to the termitary instead of Big Vlad. That's what that is. Hmm. So there must be another way. I remember thinking, man, like it didn't seem like there was another way for me to deal with it in my last playthrough. But I think now that I've done things differently, there is a way to deal with it. Somebody posted a comment and mentioned that there's a pretty complex order in which you must do things to solve the schism without bloodshed, or at least without killing them. Who knows, there might be blood. Uh, let's see, here it is. The peaceful path to solving the schism within the kin is kind of broken. In order to unlock it, you have to do things in a specific order. You have to accept the quest to bring justice to the Vlads before you go to the abattoir. Check. Then you decide to save the big or the young, or save both. Check. Then you accept the quest to solve the schism and pick only the peaceful dialogue options, but you don't do anything to complete it for now. Check. Then go to the abattoir after you complete the trials within. You will unlock the peaceful path. Then you need to find a worm on the upper levels of the termitary and talk to him. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm all good. I just need to wait until we go to the abattoir now. And then after that, come back and talk to a worm on the upper levels. Okay. I want to go over here and speak with Oyun about the schism. I don't know if I need to. The comment didn't mention anything about that. But I want to do that anyway. Anyway, I'm not going to get there before midnight, though. I'm scared for midnight. I think that's when Ruben dies. In the last, the last one, anyway. I really hope they don't die, and if they do, I don't know what to do. Anyway, in the five minutes, let's, uh, womp. 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 Biff. Boof. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> what? They all disappeared because it hit midnight. Okay. Time moves faster, yet there are fewer discontinuities. You'll have a chance to finish important business at night or tomorrow. A generous reward awaits you in the fund. Okay, come on. Infected. Alright, that sucks, but I can deal with it. Bad grief. You're good. Mm, you're good. Whew. Notkin? You're good. Sticky. Ooh. Ah, fuck. I can also deal with that, though. Andre? Oh, no. Don't. Fuck. Bad luck tonight. But guess who didn't die? Ruben's alive! Yes! I'm pretty sure Midnight's when it happened last time. I think? Ruben's alive, yes! Faster and faster. Oh, I'm so happy. 
Yeah, this is still there. That's still there. Um, oh yeah, after dark, Sapa's place. Kids gather at the station after dark. Um, hmm, the town is. Oh, the town is still calling me here, so I can still go to the town hall. Cool. So I haven't lost anything. Yeah, things are going really well. My hunger's super high. I have a ton of inquisitorial coupons, though, so that won't be an issue. I'm more worried about my exhaustion. I almost want to just live on coffee and lemon slices rather than sleeping. Although I should, I should sleep for at least an hour each day just for the dreams, Trust if nothing it. else. Hmm. Where to go first? Man, three infected people and they're all grouped together here. That sucks. Well, let's go home first and speak with Oyun. The day is over and night. Oh, let's see what kind of food we can get. Talk. We don't trade for money anymore. Uh-huh. Alright, each of these is worth more than one. So how many would it take for canned food? Five out of twelve. Okay. God damn, I'm going to spend all my money just feeding myself one full hunger bar. Is it worth getting smoked meat? I kind of would rather get fresh stuff. I've kind of just assumed that dried stuff is better for inventory space because it tends to be smaller, but I've assumed it's less efficient in terms of how much hunger it restores compared to its cost. I don't know if that's true, but I'm going to continue to assume that. Oh, Yoon. Let's speak about the Kism. Kism? Schism. There's no true warden among you. What do they want from you? A deed, I know. What deed? They want blood, not deeds. They always do. What can bind you to them that is stronger than blood? Such is blood's main quality. It binds. Binds people. Binds organs. Binds the world. Blood isn't the only thing that binds. What do they want from you right now? Why won't they leave that tomb? They want me to kill those who reject communal thought. So kill them. I won't kill anyone. I'm not a butcher. You are a butcher. He who knows the lines is a butcher. He who can dissect a great bowl is a butcher. He who fears not blood. Pay the price for your father's authority. It is always paid in blood. This isn't my path. You are wrong, kindred. You are whining like a child, wavering for no reason. Do what they want. They don't care. We, the Hatonge, do not feel death. Only life. And life means unity. The collective to us. Kill the few who stand apart to spare the rest. Pay that price, and then teach the kin your truth and lead them wherever you please. I'll find another way. I will. My knife will trace a different line. I could return to the Termitary and show the kin my strength, but I believe there is another way, a path of patience and wisdom. Perhaps I'll soon see a way to reconcile the kin with themselves. Hmm, Yulia's in danger. I should give them an immunity booster. Also, there's an ashen-faced asshole here. Oh, shit. Oh. They can really fight. Let's give Yulia an immunity booster. Let's go collect my reward at the fund and also see why the town is calling us here. It could also be calling us to Dankovsky, actually. I think it is. No? You? 
glad to see you in good health. Likewise, I was wondering about Grace. Have you found her a new home? Oh, this is where we're told that they go to Peter Stamaton's place. Yeah, Peter Stamaton's ward. Um, does it seem so unthinkable, so surprising? Uh, yeah, a bit. Don't judge a book by its cover. Sometimes people form unexpected connections. Yeah, we should say, go say hi to him. Let's make sure to get our coupons, our extra coupons here. Plus, oh my god. Wow. I don't even have space for all that. Holy shit. Okay, I made space for all of it. I draw my black twire because I have a lot of that at home. Let's eat stuff. Fresh fish. I think that'll take away all my hunger. I'm thinking, what's best? To have two fresh fish or to eat the smoked fish, the smoked meat, and an apple? Well, I mean, if you just look at it in terms of how many slots it's going to free up, this takes up three. All of these together take up five. So, yeah, these went out pretty easily. Yeah, perfect. Damn, am I thirsty. Sixteen thousand. Wow. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to go visit the theater performance. Probably won't go to the dead item shop because I have almost nothing to give them. And then just see what I can get done with all these other things. <laughs>